Now, today, we have a little bit of a situation that we have to sort out. Uh, I would like to increase the amount of cars on my farm wheat to cow train. However, the train already struggles quite a lot, as you can see, on the small slopes. So, today, what we need to do is to relay some track and then upgrade the trains and possibly add another train to this track. Uh, it's probably going to cost us a lot of money to do this. So let's just hook it up right here and let's see how much it's going to cost. That's not a tunnel actually, is it? I was expecting it to go into a tunnel. Interesting. Well, uh, not ideal really. It could be better, but... I will take that at 1.3 million, that's going to cost us a lot of money, but it is what it is. Uh, we've got a nice piece of track now that's really, really flat, which is absolutely great. And um, we're going to have to do this to our main line on the passenger route at some point as well, but for now I think that's okay, and we need to do the same over here, of course, so let's just rip this track up. It's, it's You see, it's not ideal, is it? It's not that ideal, but I think that's a massive improvement. What has to happen now is we have to rebuild the track from the end of this platform. Let's grab as far as we can. Okay, and can't grab there apparently. Okay, sure. So we'll go as far as we can, plus one. Excellent, all right. And we're gonna go as tight as we can a kern. Uh, a kern? Um, a turn, I mean, a mix of corner and turn, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna go as tight as we can and it will go into a tunnel, as you can see. Now let's check out our tunnels. What can we get here? Invisible, we do not want. How much, what's the price difference between tunnel or no tunnel? 1.1. Or 700, that's actually, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to go with the cheap option then. So let's get a bit of a loan here, another one. Okay, great. Let's, oh, I've lost the track now, that's annoying. All right, let's go back to the track. Tight corner, or tight uh, kern, as it were. <laughs> uh, let's go into our flat turn, a tight angle. Oh, it's not going in the tunnel this time, interesting. Okay, uh, well, let's do that there. There we go, excellent. And let's now bring this track into here. Now, how is that looking? That is much, much better. We can accelerate much faster now, as you can see. 38, speeding up. There's, there's little bits and, and moments where they slow down slightly. But it's not too big of a deal, to be honest with you. Because when you slow down slightly, you gain it back pretty quickly because it's all flat. So that's absolutely no issues. Now let's see what happens here with our hill. Before this was going down to like 5 kilometers an hour. Where, are we still speeding up? Going 46, actually 46 is the, the the maximum, isn't it, for this this train? It can't go any faster. That's great. We're going top speed. Let's see what's going to happen here. Is it going to slow down? I think I reckon it's going to go to like 44ish, maybe. 46 still. 45. I think it's going to drop 44 and then it'll be fine. Let's see. Nope, back to 46. Wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that was a big improvement. That's going to save us a lot of time and time is money, of course. Train is pulling it back into the platform here. Let's see if it slows down because there is some tight corners coming up, which I can't really do too much about because I am very limited with space. But let's just see what happens here. So we're going around this corner. It's going around the tight curve now. No change in speed. Okay, that's fine because it's a low speed train. Oh, big, big change in speed there, but that's okay because we're going to slop. Uh, slop? Where are my words today? We're, <laughs> we're going to stop. Now, here the thing is, this is a stop with 290 um, wheat. Our train holds... Uh, oh, you're slowing down. I wonder why that is. Let's just... I actually should probably ride it back because speed will be different on the way back. Let's just give it a quick ride back. Um, but I actually should probably upgrade this train and maybe go with another train on this track. So we might have to get some signal work going, which is going to be a little bit complex. Um, but... Let's just see how our train's doing. 36, because it is kind of uphill all the way here. It's going to slow down to about 30, probably, on this hill. Um, so, you know what? As long as it doesn't go below 30 most of the route, I'm going to be quite happy with that. 22 is all oh, very slow. Look at that. That is super slow. Um, but, anyway, that, that should be fine. How's our last little hill going to go? We haven't tested this one just yet. We're getting back up to 30 kilometers. Let's see how it's going to do. I think it's going to just keep around 30. I don't think it should slow down too much. That rock's annoying. Get rid of that. Um... 33 is actually accelerating, isn't it? Wow, nice. Whoa, that was a very sharp angle on the camera there, game. All right, yeah, I am very happy with that. That's absolutely great. So we've made a dent. We have made a dent in the platform. It's going to quickly fill back up, I think. We're on 228, and I think that's very quickly going to fill back up. You can already see these little boxes are getting uh, made into big boxes again. We, we've only barely dug into it with the, uh, the larger locomotive, but it did something. And I think it's still going to warrant another use of another locomotive, 
but it did something and that's what's important here. Okay, a little bit of time has passed now. So we do have a tiny, tiny bit of money in the bank. Now let's start making our signals. Yeah, so we're leaving the station, we're gonna stop here. That's okay. Train stops there, train can come off the main line onto there. Okay, when it's gone past, the train's going up here. So track coming off there little of that as we can so do that nice so one of those like that we can always upgrade it later of course and then as little of that as we can so we'll go down to that great bit of a tight one but is what it is we'll get one of these here so we'll go with a signal now so we're going to get a signal down so who has priority here would it be the guys coming back it would so on the way back we're going up here so on the way down we need to go down here so uh waypoints we need one of these guys to go on this end, like that, and then a signal, oops, have I just placed two? No. And a signal down here on this end of the track before we get into the curve. So about there, great. We're going to go out of here. We're going to go oh, tight as we can, not too tight though. There we go, like that. Nice and straight along here, about 80 meters or so doesn't have to be perfect uh, you know I'll, I'll go over to the straight that's probably a lot nicer looking if I have it going out on the straight and I'm going to the minus money again great uh, I'm sure it'll go out of that in a second but let's get this track positioned in the meantime so I'll go to like as tight as it'll go wow it's really tight isn't it look at that all right trains got priority coming back because it's uphill and it's a uh, heavier train because of the load on board uh, we need a signal on here, don't we? So one of those goes on the straight bit there. Uh, we need a checkpoint back here as well. So a quick one of those goes about there. Yeah, if we add this stop here, uh, and then we go check the signal, of course. Then we're going down through here. We've got to add this checkpoint here and check the signal. So we need a new train now, don't we? So let's go over to our depot, make a quick bit of an adjustment. So our depot is over in West Hampton, of course. Uh, so we need to make an adjustment now, don't we? Now, this could be a little bit tricky because of our maintenance depot, but let's see what we can do. That's the wrong one. We need to go to buildings and then a train depot. Great, line it up. So there we go. One more, is it? No, like that, okay. Our track now it needs to be, it's a little bit of a tricky one this because you've got to line it up quite nicely. So if you don't line this up right, it's going to go very, very badly because you don't want the track glitching out, do you? So um, back it up to about, oh, it's tricky, it is tricky. One of those goes there and I think, think being the key word, that should be okay. I'm just going to paint this as well. There we go, that's looking much better. Look at that. Love, love, love that. Uh, we're going to go with 20, right? It's 20 in the yard, isn't it? Let's check. It is. Let me just check I did this right. Yeah, I did this right. Cool. All right. And then let's build our track out nice and straight and importantly, flat as well. See, it's getting more tricky because every time I build a track, there's less places to hook it in. Um, I think probably here is... It's, it's, it's really tricky, isn't it? Really tricky to do. So can I go from... Yeah, I can. So I'll go like here line it up to there right and then now if I bring it that into into there there we go told you I could do that so let's have a look at our vehicles we need some of these box cars of course we'll get to those after now we have two trains up for grabs we are already using the class V and the class T class T is our passenger class V is our farm route we currently got so we've got the D13 and the six wheeler and the six wheeler I'm pretty sure I'm going to use for a commuter passenger route. So we have our D13 and our six wheeler. I'm not sure what we're going to choose to be honest with you. Um, probably this the 13 because the 13 can do a little bit more. Um, the six wheel is kind of more passenger thing. Uh, and I think I'm pretty sure this one was designed for coal. Could be wrong transporting coal. So maybe it can pull more. I'm not sure about that one. But we've got 66. 52 and let's just see how fast these can go 46 right 46 so we're looking for around 46 46 or slightly under so we've got 50 27 52 66 and 57 so it's going to be 50 unless one of these is, is 46 and then in that case we use that 
I doubt it is though. So no, they're all they're pretty slow. All of those, aren't they? So uh, where is our fifty? Where is it gone? Fifty. There it is. Stealthy. So that's good as well. We get one of these guys, um, which is a hundred k ish, uh, and then we need some of these guys as well. So we're going to go with like. 10 I think we chose anyway, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and that's 600k, so let's take a quick loan out, we'll buy that, and we'll stick that onto the wheat to cow. Here comes our new locomotive. That is quite rare on this save game, isn't it? See two trains together is quite cool. Yeah, rare moment there, folks, rare moment. We've got our train coming out, going 20 because that's the speed limit fine by me let's speed everything up because we've got to get this train out of the uh, area look at the difference in the speed wow train speeding out at 38 it's 36 now of course speak of the devil look at these wheels these wheels are tiny wow they're a lot smaller than the current train we have maybe this thing is less powerful than I anticipated I'm not sure it seems that this thing is a lot smaller than the uh, the box cars I was expecting this thing to be a lot bigger but hey the more you know how is our train doing it's going out of Summerland now. It's just left. Okay. That's fine. Because that's going to West Hampton now because we've cleared the block. Great. So we need this train now to get past Fancy Gap before this one gets to West Hampton. I'm pretty sure it will. It's uh, December the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Come on. Something good, please, game. Something good. Give me a boat. Give me a boat. Give me a boat. What are we going to get? Ah. Uh, Okay, uh, <laughs> let's check it out. What, what did we just get? We got a selfie steam locomotive. Let's see the stats for that. Let's just go in here. So we've got three, three variants. We've got drag steam, swift, and stealthy. So stealthy's a bit slower, but less emissions. That's not the greatest, but I'll take it. A little bit less emission is just okay, I suppose. Don't really want it for an adjustment for a locomotive, but I am limited with what I've got as is. I don't really want to slow the trains down much more. Um, considering as well I already have that train on the route, to take it off and upgrade it would just be a task more than anything. Where is our train? I've completely lost track of our train. Let's go find it. It's uh, somewhere on this menu. Somewhere. Okay, train is in Woodstock. I believe the other train is stationary. Let's see. Oh, the train is stationary. What are you waiting for? Why, why are you waiting? You're going, you want to go this way? Okay, fine, go. I, I, I don't know what you're waiting for, seriously. That's a bit annoying. Um, okay, well, they're going now, apparently, so... <laughs> no idea what happened. And I am considering, also, reducing the size of these trains, because, as you can see, it's struggling even with 10. So, I don't know, maybe reduce them slightly, maybe take a couple of cars off both of them, seeing as there is two now. Uh, it does make a bit of sense to do that. Let's get our other locomotive off as well. Let's pin that. So let's just jump between the two. So this guy's coming through here. This guy is going two kilometers an hour. Bloody hell. What's its tractive effort? Tractive effort. Let's see. Where is it? 50. No, that's power. Where's tractive effort? I need... Huh. Let's have a look here. We have the Baldwin six wheels. No, we don't. We have the one third. Um, that goes 50, don't we? So your tractive effort is 8.3, that's terrible. And then your tractive effort is 14, that might explain something. So can we get something a bit better than 8.3? What's the highest it can go here? Uh, 12. Uh, that's kind of a yikers, not gonna lie. How fast is 27, that's not good enough. Right then, in that case, there's only one thing we're gonna do. We're gonna chop some cars off. One, two, chop. We're gonna go to this one. We're gonna edit this one. Oh, no, that one please. This one here. Chop, chop. Let's see if this guy makes any money. He should make some good money. He's going 37, which is pretty good speed. Pretty good. It's not quite 46, which is what I'd like from the other train. Top speed of this one is what? It's like 46 as well. That's fine. So the train's going through here. 29. It's just okay, really. It's going to hold our train up slightly, but the signals are going to just fix that. So not really an issue. This guy's going to slow down because he's terrible tractive effort. To about 20-ish. Called it. Oh, even slower. Terrible. Terrible. What an awful, awful locomotive. How could you ever use this? Three kilometers! Are you joking? Who in their right mind would, would use this train? This is the worst train ever. This is terrible. Awful. Three kilometers an hour. Well, I, uh, I apologize, Class V, 
I said you were a bad train. You're a very good train. Very, very good train. Oh, well, at least in comparison to the one third. God almighty, that thing sucks. Remind me to never use that thing again. Smiley face. Uh, <laughs> in the next video, we'll be finishing off our wheat to cow. If you like this sort of content, please feel free to press subscribe. Helps me out a lot, costs you nothing, and it makes me smile. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.